say then in what is quite simply the greatest challenge of Ramla Ali's professional career so far. And Guzman starting in aggressive style. Just as we've seen from her at the various occasions during fight week, the press conference and the weigh-in. On the back of that left hook knockout punch delivered in the eighth round of their first meeting in New Orleans in the USA back in June. I don't think Guzman's got much worry about what's coming back at her, and she seems to just be walking through and she's looking to get her shot off, but there's no real worry or respect for the power of Ramler Ali, and, and that's quite evident early on. Guzman going looking for that overhand right over the top of the sometimes lazy jab of Ramler Ali, the shot that floored Ali in the fifth round of that fight back in June in the United States. Yeah, it was a nice left hook, went in again from Guzman. That right hand of Ali is just a little loose, he needs to keep that tucked right by the temple. Ramla is the busier of the two here at the start, and Landon probably the better puncher, but it's definitely not the more effective ones. The serious weight in Guzman's punches, and, and Ramla's feeling them. Yeah, not care in the world, Guzman just walking forward. No nonsense. Oh, a lovely right hand from Ali. Beautiful shot. Cleanest and the best punch of the contest so far. Guzman down, Ali supporters raising their voices, but no knockdown, says the referee Jean-Robert Lane. And suddenly the fight has come to life in the closing stages of the second. <laughs> Lovely left-right combination again. That in particular has worked well for Rattler Ali over the course of the first three and a half rounds. It's the feet that are letting Guzman down at the minute. She's just not getting close to not Ali. Closing the gap, no, she's not, not, she's not closing the gap. She needs to be a bit sharper with those feet. Good work to the body from Guzman. Oh, it's a left hook. That was on the top of the head. She got in the action out of Ramla Ali. She's hurt. From Guzman to follow that left hook. Closing stages at the fourth. She'd be wise to hold now, Mike. She's felt that right hand to the top of the head. Oh, the left hook as well. Guzman knows it. She's holding our lead. She's definitely clever felt a couple Gale. of those shots. Clever girl. That's very good. The clever girl. Well done, Ramla Ali. But she felt that big time. Well, Manny Robles in the Ramla Ali corner, echoing what Darren and Tony were saying. Don't stay in the pocket. Get out of there once you've done your work. Guzman coming now. She knows she's hit Ramla Ali in that last round. She's coming to press. It was in the fifth round of their first meeting that Guzman floored Ali with an overhand right. That's good defence from Ramla Ali slipping under the shot. She has to also put something after them slips, mate. It's vitally important. There's a lot more intent coming from Guzman now. More pressure on that front foot, looking for that left hook every single time now. She has to be very sharp with the jab, Ali, because she's also looking for that right hand, misses there. Again, like Tony said, rolling well, missing that shot. It's after the roll spell that she needs to give Alejandro Guzman something to think about because she's just going to keep walking in. You have to get it respect and then move away. And a second one, and that jab in particular has worked really well for Ali tonight. Got her out of hand, goal. she's to have the effect she wants to have on Ramla Ali. She's being simply outworked in this round. Seems that she's slowed up as well, because another good right hand from Ali. And again, and again, three beautiful right hands. Good round this for Ali, and the Guzman corner, willing their boxer to step forward. But she's walking onto solid shots when she tries to. 
good round for Ram Ali. That was Ram Ali's best round of the fight. But here, you know, she's, she's got a lot of hands, bro. Mm. That's a better start by Guzman. Ram Ali's legs just dipped oh. a little bit there. That's a nice right hand. She took it well, Ali. And we're into the round in which their first fight finished back in June in New Orleans with a crunching left hook. They were throwing left hooks virtually simultaneously, but it was Guzman's that got through, and it was Stop. Ali that wound up on the deck, eventually counted out. And afterwards, there were many complaints online that the referee's count was too quick, but from the moment Ali hit the canvas to the fight being waved off, it was exactly 10 seconds, and Guzman goes on the attack again. She felt that one, right hand straight down the middle from Guzman. Ramla has to stick to them tactics and base everything off the jab like she's doing now, but she also has to come out on an angle, no straight lines. As you can see, Guzman is looking for that counter right hand over the top. Yeah, lovely double jab from Ali. Feet are crucial here. Don't get greedy, don't throw away the good work that you've done so far in this contest. Two rounds to go. And that was precisely the message in the corner from Manny Robles to Randall Ali. Two more rounds like you've been boxing. Oh, a nice left to the body from Guzman. The Mexican has had a lot of success to the body. She's doing the right thing here, Ali, as well. She's not circling the ring. She's holding her feet ever so slightly, and that's stopping Guzman just walking her down. It's been a very impressive performance so far. Behind that jab, and Manny Robles in the corner saying there's room for a very quick right hand after the jab as well. She just can't get quick enough, Guzman, to land those big shots. I think she's done really well in the second half of the fight round early, and that's what's got her to victory. Moving well, and another one of those left-right combinations didn't quite connect. But those shots have been key for Ramla Ali. Stepping back into the furnace after that knockout defeat last time around. Mark Colloy, Aurelia Pena, and Jeremy Hayes all scored this bout identically. 96 to 94 for your winner by unanimous decision. And the new WBA International Super Bantamweight Champion, Ramla 